Hello all. In this lecture, we will see about if statement. So if statement is a kind of decision making statement. So in the previous programs, what we have seen is all sequence statements. So if I take one example, so I'll take one example. So I'll take the previous program itself implicit.c. So this is an example for a sequence of statements. So all these are sequence statements that is First, this statement will be executed, then this second statement, third statement, fourth statement. In the same order, it will be going fourth, fifth, like that. It will be going up to this return zero. So one by one execution will be there and it will be a continuous execution. So if you want to check some condition and if you want to skip some statement or if you want to, based on some condition, if you want to uh, do something, then you have to do use this if statement or decision making statements so we mainly have two or three decision making statements we'll talk about this decision making so programmer specifies one or more conditions to be evaluated or tested by the program so programmer will specify some condition and it will be evaluated or tested by the program uh, whenever that condition occurs it will be checked that condition so if that condition is true then we'll execute a set of statements. So if that condition is true, then a statement or statements will be executed. A statement or a set of statements will be executed. Optionally, other statements to be executed if the condition is false. In certain cases, so if it is if statement and we have one more statement switch case uh, statement in C, we will see that later. So uh, optionally, it is optional other statements if it is true we will execute a statement or uh, other sta uh, some st uh, statement or a set of statements and optionally if it is false we will execute some other statements so in the before going into this decision making you have to remember that any non zero and non null values is considered to be true so in the case of c non zero and there is a special thing called null also n u l l it is capital letter if you see the uh, c reserved keywords we have already seen some 32 keywords so in that 32 keywords there is n u l l capital n u l l it is not small n u l l it is capital n u l l so any non zero and non null values is true if it is either zero or null so if that value is either zero or null then it is assumed as false so you always you have to remember this in the case of true it is not one you have already seen that whenever that value is one it is true and zero it is false it is actually in c uh, everything non zero if it is 5 6 7 any non zero value and also if it is not null if it is this condition n u l l capital letter not null then it is assumed as false so okay so if it is zero or null then it is assumed as false all other values will be considered as true okay zero means your digit zero okay so this is a syntax uh, this is a condition for this if statement this is a flow chart of if statement so these are set of statements that will be executed then when that, that if statement comes so inside that we will have a condition so we'll be checking that condition so if that condition is true, we will execute this statement or this set of statements and then we will return to the program. If that condition is false, then we will not execute the statement. We will skip these statements and ex continue execution. So this is a thing we have to note in if statement. So it is a set of say these are all sequence statements coming into the condition. Then this line occurs when this statement comes, it will check for this condition. Then if the condition is true only, we will go back, go to this set of statements. We will uh, write inside a uh, body, like inside the braces, we will write something and those statements will be executed. And if it is false, it will go outside. It will not execute these statements. It will execute the statements after this statements. So this is, uh, so if statement, it consists of a Boolean expression followed by one or more statements you have to note it is a boolean expression that is boolean means true or false it should be either true or false so you should remember that everything uh, every non-zero and non-null is true and zero and null is considered as false so it is a boolean expression so it should return either 
true or false we have already seen uh, expression so if this is the syntax of this statement if so, so this is a reserved keyword this is usually should be written in small letters i and f should be in small letters and within parenthesis within parenthesis we will write something boolean expression so this boolean expression can be anything the only thing is that it should return a value uh, it should return either true or false values and in the case of c everything that is non zero and non null is true and zero and null is false so whatever we write inside this should be evaluated to that particular value true or false so if this boolean expression is true then whatever inside the braces so we are including another brace now so in the integer in the main function we have already seen there will be an opening brace and a closing brace now we are including a brace inside this if now this means everything inside this braces will belong to this if statement so whatever we want you want to write a 10 statement or a single statement or 100 statement you can write inside this so all these statements will be executed only if this condition this is a condition that we are writing so we will check this condition if it is true we will execute all these statements if it is false then it will go back to the next statement after this brace so it won't execute anything inside the brace it will go to the next statement after the brace if it is false okay so one more thing you have to note it is not mandatory that you should include a brace if you have only a single statement if you have a single statement you need not include brace but it is always good to include these braces okay if there are multiple statements only you need this braces otherwise you can if it is only a single statement that is to be executed you can write without these braces but always try to include this brace and you should indent like this the program should be indented uh, something like this then uh, when you write uh, all this it should be indented that is there should be some space between them then you when you see the program it will, you will find that it is something uh, it will look more beautiful it will be improve the readability of the program okay so we will see an example so this is the example so if in, we are declaring a number as integer and its value is assigned 10 there should be a semicolon here anyway it's not a problem so i have given a 10 to this program and i am checking in the next statement i am checking if number less than 20 so 10 is less than 20 it is true okay we can include any type of expression relational expression logical expression arithmetic expression any expression but it should have some value so based on that value if it the value is non zero and non null then it is considered to be true okay if here 10 less than 20 it is true so whatever we write inside the statements this is just a common line we can write anything print of the number is less than 10 like that we can write so what happens is when the condition is true here since it is true it will execute inside the statement so inside it will go inside the brace and execute all the statements and it will go out and if the expression is false if we take another thing example if number equal to 10 and we are checking number greater than 20 here 10 is greater than 20 we are checking so 10 is not greater than 20 it is it will return false it will return zero so since it is zero it will not go inside the brace what it does is it will go it not it will not execute anything inside the statements it will go out it will just go out okay it will not execute anything in the brace so we will see a uh, example then you will understand okay so i will take one example so vim uh, if dot c let it be if dot c i am giving some name okay you can give any name uh, don't be confused with this if i should give like that and all no example so i will give a uh, if example some name i will give example dot c if example dot c now i have already copied one program i am just pasting it here so this is the program this is hash include stdio.h then we have the main function then what we are doing is we are declaring int a equal to 100 we are declaring an integer a and we are assigning that value 100 is assigned to a now 
we have the if statement next we have if statement you can include any statement in between but it's not necessary that you it should continue with an if statement you can include any statement so inside this program we have an if statement if a less than 200 so a is 100 so 100 less than 200 so it is true it returns 1 so it, since it is non zero so it will go inside the brace and it will print us this so this statement will be executed so what will be printed value of a is less than 100 200 like that whatever you want you can print in it okay then it's closing brace after that it will come out and value of a is we are simply printing percentage d that is 100 will be printed a we are printing a so 100 will be printed so we will run this program and see that we will check whether we are getting the same output gcc if example if example dot c okay so it is uh, there are no errors now a dot uh, a dot uh, uh, so value of a is less than 100 is printed and value of a is also printed we have not given slash and, and all that's why uh, that exam uh, that is not that is printed in the same line so we didn't give any slash here so that is why uh, we are getting like that so i'll just include a, a slash also okay so you can include the slash anyway if you want you can include in the next line also so this means this thing will be printed in the new line okay so this means this line uh, this thing will be printed in the new line like that you can include slash also okay let it be like that we will run uh, we will execute some other program now so, okay uh, let it be i'll uh, just uh, delete it i'll include it here itself now let it be uh, i'll include it later so i'll uh, take another example so you should understand that since this condition is true now it has executed like this uh, now i am going to change this thing so i am going to change the value now now i am going to change the value a to uh, 300 so let it be a equal to 300 now what happens a equal to 300 and it will check whether 300 less than 200 now this condition is false so this statement will never be printed it will go to this statement and will print it okay so it will go to the next statement and it will print it so i'll just include this also slash and here also maybe in the next example i i can use it okay so what happens is 300 is less than 200 it is false so this statement this set of statements whatever inside the braces won't be executed so it is false so it will go to the statement and will print this so we'll it will skip the statement okay it, so we'll check that scheme so i'll again compile it and again i'll ex execute it now you can see that only the second line is printed value of a is 300 will be printed so that value won't be printed so this is an example for if statement now i'll uh, write some other program i'm giving a value in a equal to uh, 300 now i'm going to give another value in uh, b equal to uh, i'll give some uh, 400 okay in b equal to 400 now i'm going to use another we are checking with uh, some something i'll just to see I, i'll check whether a less than or equal to b i'll just check a less than or equal to b print of uh, i'll simply include a variable a, a is less than b i'll delete all these things simply printing a, a is less than b so if what happens here i'll uh, just remove this line also i'll just comment this line or i will uh, delete it i'll delete that line okay so now again it is another example just to show to just to make you full clear so we are uh, just making uh, giving a, a value 300 to a and another value 400 to b now we are checking a less than b now 300 is less than b so it is true then this statement will be printed okay you can simply run this program you can simply run again compile it and you can run this 
and you can see that that statement will be printed variable a is less than b so since that condition is true since this condition is true it will be printing inside that program okay <coughs> now i will uh, take another example to explain that you can include any type of expression okay now what i'm going to do is i'll just insert okay uh, let me like that uh, so I'll just insert uh, in C okay in C equal to uh, I'll 300 400 I'll make it 500 let it be 500 now I am including I am going to do something else inside this uh, instead of checking a less than B I'm going to include the and operator you have already studied logical and operator okay logical and now you have to tell what it is going to do x less than b sorry b so i have included a different condition a less than b and sorry it is not x it is sorry a it is a less than c So we are going to include a condition, different condition. So this is actually a logical expression now. It is logical expression because it has an ampersand, double ampersand. So it is a logical expression. Then a and b, uh, sorry, a less than b and a less than c. So what happens here? Now you have to learn, uh, you have to see the operator precedence. So if you check the operator precedence, the if you have a, this kind of expression so in the previous video you can check in the previous video if we have this kind of different operators inside an expression so this is an expression now now we have different kinds of expression so we have to see the precedence like in the arithmetic operators we know that division multiplication more or less have to be done first okay then there is left to right associativity we already see so similarly here we have a relational operator less than and an ampersand operator and a less than so we have to see which one has the highest precedence so if you see that table we can see that this less than symbol has the highest precedence so these two should be done first then after that only this and operation should be done so that is a precedence so relational operators should be uh, executed first so what we have to do is we have to check first a less than b so a is 300 and b is 400 so 300 less than 400 so what it returns it will return we have already seen in relational operators uh, if it is less than and if it is true then it will return a value 1 so it is be a 1 value so a less than b 300 less than 4 means it will be 1 okay so 300 less than b it will be 1 then we should not do this and so this expression will be evaluated first and we will get 1 then we will check this one so this should not be executed then the operation is it is a relational operator is left to right associativity so we have to start this first operator then left to right means second operator we have to do this thing so the operands are a and c so a less than c so a is 300 and c is 500 so a is 300 less than c so again it is true so it again returns 1 so now what we have to do so that, that relational expression is or relational operator is over now we have to apply ampersand so we have one here one ampersand one and one so you have to see and operator if both are true then the result will be true so one and one means one will be returned so we have a one value which is a positive if it is it is a non-zero value we have a one so the relational expression will return a one and you can you so since it is true it will go into the statement and it will print the statement so we can write here since you have checked whether a less than b and a less than c we can simply print that uh, uh, a is uh, less than we can simply print uh, b and c oh, okay we will print like this
a is less than b and c we will simply print this now if you want you can uh, simply check the value of uh, this expression so if you want to see what is this actually value is happening so i will declare uh, another integer so i will int uh, in uh, some x value i will declare it here now what i am going to do is i will just include as another statement here uh, i'll just assign this value that is a less than sorry less than b amber uh, ampersand so and operator we have to do and then a less than c so i am including this statement now if you want you can print this thing print f print f i'll just uh, value of i'll just print the value of x is now we have to include the format specifier percentage d and you can close the quotes and after that you have to print x and a semicolon now you are simply evaluating this expression here also and you are assigning that value to x so you are simply assigning that value to x and you are simply printing that value of x just to see what is the value so we have evaluated that x will be 1 okay so i'll just save it and quit now i will again compile it and i'll execute it now you can see this value of x is one uh, i'll just uh, include a slash and there is some i forgot to include that thing I'll just include some slash in here also, otherwise it won't good look good. Okay. Slash and slash and okay. Now I'll again compile it uh, and I'll execute it. Now you can see that value of x is 1. So what we have evaluated is also 1 and this if statement is print, uh, the statement inside the if also is printed a is less than b and c because the condition has become true so you have to see that this will be evaluated like this so this is where you require this operator precedence rule so operator precedence if you do like this then it will be like this then if you want you can include it in braces also it is not mandatory that uh, you should not include uh, this thing and all you can include in braces to show that it will be executed even if you do not include it's not a problem uh, you can include a parenthesis like you like this you can do this so so this is also possible so these things are also possible so this will also be the same so the first parenthesis will be executed we know the parenthesis has the highest precedence so this and it has left to right associated so this parenthesis will be executed first then this parenthesis will be executed then after that the outer parenthesis outer parenthesis that is and operation will be done so this is one and one so one and one is one so that is why we get a value one here okay so this is uh, an example okay uh, you can try with this uh, different examples now uh, i have mentioned that you can have any type of expression so only thing is that it should either return a, a positive value or a zero value so now let me do some other thing here so i have already mentioned that there is a null thing null so i am what i am going to do is i am not going to do anything i am just going to include a null here so if it is null it means it will be true or it will be false okay if it is null means it is false so if it is nulls then uh, nothing all these statements will be skipped nothing will be done inside this okay if it is null so we have already written if null means it is equivalent to false so we will check that thing so i will compile it uh, i will run it you can see that nothing will be printed no statements will be printed so it will simply execute and uh, return okay so if since it is null so null should be all should be in caps okay this is a reserved word in c and if you want you can uh, make it 
so if you want you can uh, make it like this also okay uh, i am going to make it uh, equal to make it as uh, 5 i will give some value 5 so what happens it, this statement will be uh, executed 5 will be assigned to x and here it will be 5 here so 5 in if of 5 so if 5 means it is a non zero value so these statements will be executed okay these statements will be executed so we will check it now so you will check it here okay gcc now if example now we will run compile it we will run it okay so we can see that value of x is 1 so both those statements will be printed we are executing that x statement that uh, uh, logical expression is also executed and also uh, the next statements are executed so we are evaluating simply evaluating an expression and you will get a 1 here okay so since it will check this condition if x equal to 5 so if i am going to make it 0 so i am making it 0 now sorry so i am making it to 0 x equal to 0 now what happens now it will check if x so it is checking if x so x is 0 now so if x means if 0 so it is 0 is false so these statements won't be executed you can run this and see this for yourself so try to do all these things then you will uh, understand what's the difference you try giving different values and all you try with null also so no statements will be executed those statements won't be printed here okay then you try to void i have not thought about that uh, void that's why i skipped that null we'll let's learn about it later then now as of now you learn all these things now i am going to include a different expression now uh, what i am going to do is here a a uh, then less than b less than c okay a less than so i am including a relational expression itself now the expression uh, you can print this uh, no don't worry about whatever it is there inside the statement we are going to evaluate only this expression now a less than b less than c so what this means so a is so this is a relational expression now and we have two relational operators two less than symbols are there okay two less than symbols are there so what it does so it, it has left to right associativity left to right operator precedence we have studied relational operators have left to right so we have to start from the left operator then after that this one so now we will execute a less than b so a less than b means 300 less than 400 so it is true and it will return 1 so this value will be 1 then it will check 1 less than 500 it is not uh, 300 less than 400 less than 500 it will be 1 less than 500 so 1 is always less than 500 so you will get uh, true so all these statements will be printed so you can check it now if you uh, compile it and run it you can see that all those statements will be printed because it is true and all those statements whatever you write it will be printed so we are simply writing some statements don't worry about these statements i just wanted to show that all those statements can be printed so whatever we write can be printed you can pr write any statements inside this i'm simply evaluating some expression and there's something uh, printing like this now i am going to change the value of c here okay i am going to change the value of c or i will give i'll do one thing i'll just change the value here i am making it equal now this will be also 300 so i have given three different uh, three same values now what happens it will check a less than b 300 less than 300 it is false so this is false so it will return 0 then 0 less than 300 0 it is less than 300 so it is again true even though we have given three uh, same values so this should be false and actually if we say that it should be false because 300, 300 is less than 300 and less than 300 all this will be false because all these are same we will check the output now 
now if you compile this you can see this uh, all the values will be executed so everything will be executed here here the value has changed here that you need not worry so all those statements inside the if will be executed so if statement is executed so a body of the if is executed why it is executing even though we have given same values as per our logic as per our logic this should not be true because 300 uh, all these are different it, it cannot it, uh, according to our logic it is false but according to the c compiler what happens is it will check it is left to right associativity so it will check only take two operands together it cannot take three operands together so it has a logic of only two operands so it will check first a and b so 300 less than 300 it is false because they are equal so it is false what it returns it will return a zero there then it is this zero zero is compared with c value 0 is compared with 300 0 less than 300 it is true it is true 0 is less than 300 so it is true so what happens it will go inside the statement and it will execute and here we have got x value as 0 why it has got if we see this expression i just want to explain this expression that's all a less than b it is false and a less than c it is also false false and false it is false so x is 0 here but here this statement is true because it will take only first two operands together uh, it is false so 0 less than 300 it is false now you can simply print it and see then you will uh, understand it okay i will just uh, insert so i'll insert a statement i'll just print uh, another statement i'll just print x equal to i'll print what you will get uh, so I'll just print x a a less than b. Okay, I'll just print a less than b here. Then I'll include y one more thing. One equal to y equal to a less than b less than c. We will see. Uh, we will simply see what happens when we print this thing. Sorry, c. Okay, I'll just print this thing. Now I will uh, remove this thing. I'll uh, just delete this thing. And I will print the x here. Okay. I'll print this x here and I'll copy it here. I'll, pr uh, I'll print this y also. Now I'll print the y also. instead of x i'll print uh, y also i'll delete this i'll print y value also now i will delete this thing y now it is correct now we have to uh, give some value for i'll I have to declare that y also y you can remove this value if you want no problem so so here i'm what i'm going to do is i'm assigning three values to a b c now I have declaring two other variables x and y. Now we are simply checking. We have already seen that it is true, and we are simply printing what happens to uh, what is actually this value a less than b. What is x? And if we are giving a less than b less than c, what is the value? So what this value is returning, we are simply printing it inside this uh, statement. So, okay. I am just uh, I'll clear it okay now dot slash a dot out I have compiled it now you can see that value of x is 0 and value of y is 1 so a less than b a, x is actually a less than b 300 less than 300 it is 0 then you are checking 0 with c 0 c is 300 0 less than 300 it is true that is why we get a value y as 1 okay you leave the statement you ignore this second, third statement we are simply printing something okay so that is what is happening here so you can include any number of expressions or operators inside the statement if you want a plus b can also be done a plus b you can include uh, arithmetic expression also if a plus b 
okay i'll just insert i will just insert an arithmetic expression like this it is also possible because it is a non zero value a plus b it is 300 plus 300 it will be return 600 now so all this value should be printed everything will be printed so you can see this also i just wanted to show i am so now error now you compile and run it you can see that all the statements inside that if statement will be printed so the body of the if will be executed because a plus b it returns a non-zero value a plus b is 300 plus 300 it is 600 so whatever you want you can print now if you check for a minus b you can check for a minus b also now i am going to make a minus b so a minus b is 300 minus 300 it is zero so it is a zero value so no none of these statements will be executed so you can check by it also now again i am going to compile and again i am going to run you can see that no statements have been printed this is because that's that has become false so this is the use of if statement so whatever you have it will evaluate that expression it will check whether it is zero or null if it is zero or null all these statements will be skipped no uh, these statements won't be executed if it is non-zero and non-null that means all the statements inside the braces can be executed okay should be executed and after that it will go to the next statement so this is the use of if statement okay if statement so that's all thank you